Well, big news from the retail sector as Nordstrom announces it's closing all of its Canadian stores. It means the loss of 13 Nordstrom and Nordstrom affiliated locations, along with 2,500 jobs. Now, the Canadian website, that's already shut down. The stores, they'll ultimately be closed by the end of June. So for more on this, we're joined live this afternoon by Lisa Hutchison. She's a retail analyst and managing partner with J.C. Williams Group. Lisa, thanks for the time this morning. Uh, Nordstrom has a lot of people talking about Target, which really crashed and burned hard in Canada a few years ago. Are there comparisons to the Nordstrom example to Target? Uh, I don't think really. You know, there are two different kinds of retailers. Uh, I think one of the biggest challenges for Nordstrom was timing. You know, they came into Canada, they were just getting some momentum. And then with COVID, it, the fashion retailers were certainly the retailers that took the hardest brunt. And with being such a large format and being very highly focused on fashion, you know, I think it's just been a really tough go for them uh, ever since the stores were able to reopen again. Lisa, do international retailers really understand the Canadian market and how unique is the Canadian market on kind of a global scale? Well, I think one of the challenges is, uh, so I, I think the short answer to that question is, yes, they understand it. They do their homework before they come into the country. I think the challenge is that, you know, we just don't have the same population density mm -hmm. for these large format retailers. And so I think that's one of the struggles that happens. Um, the other is, you know, the customer since COVID has learned that, you know, they can shop online for something that's just a commodity or something that's not unique, but they want to go to a bricks and mortar location for something, some an exciting experience, um, some sort of exper experiential um, interaction with the brand. And I think that that's somewhere that Nordstrom has fallen off. You know, they've really lost their key differentiator. The, some of the luxury brands are now being offered in freestanding luxury mm -hmm. stores. And, uh, you know, they have a restaurant and they have a bar, but, you know, there's nothing else super exciting about them. Yeah, that's interesting. And so what's your sense in terms of the expectations, for example, of American or international retailers? We've seen H&M closing some stores lately as well. When they come to Canada, what do they think they are, what do they expect out of this market then? Well, again, our shopping patterns are different, and I think the customer has been changing ever since the, you know, the global pandemic. I mean, they've been changing everywhere, but I think in Canada, um, they definitely have changed, and I think they really just need to um, understand the customer and um, make sure that they're picking their locations correctly. Right. And Lisa, is this an overall kind of a concern at all for the overall either luxury retail market in Canada or just retail in general in Canada? I mean, we hear stories about the Bay every now and then, you know, having some questionable concerning financials, that sort of thing. You know, I think that there are retailers that are out there that are very successful right now. And I think that, you know, it's it's I think luxury right now and, you know, the likes of Nordstrom, you know, they're a bit, they're a sign of, um, you know, a tough economy happening as well. And I think there are retailers that are, you know, really taking advantage of, you know, making sure that they have their expenses, they've been overcoming supply chain issues. And so this is their opportunity to really understand their customer and what the needs are and focus on that. And Lisa, I know you're at an international conference talk, you know, talking retail right now. Are there any other concerns on the retail horizon when it comes to the Canadian market that you're aware of that, you know, shoppers should potentially be looking out for? I'm thinking about making sure you use your gift cards or credits you may have at other stores. Yeah, I, you know, I think that the retailers that are, you know, there's always it's always good to not hang on to these that mm -hmm. you know the retailers want you to come in and shop and they and you know and uh you know but we are hearing in surveys that happen um and that the customer is wanting to return to the store but they want it to be a really great experience otherwise they're just going to shop online right exactly and that's so easy to just click away isn't it especially with the weather we're in for this weekend lisa hutchison <laughs> retail yeah. analyst managing partner with jc williams group thanks for the time this afternoon do appreciate this